Aleluya 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 Let me your attention now please Hosea chapter 12 and verse 13 Hosea 12 13 here's what it says and by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt he brought them out of Egypt brought them out of Egypt and by a prophet was he preserved in Exodus chapter 14 when you begin your reading from verse 13 we'll jump for sake of time let's do 13 to 18 then we'll jump a few other verses follow the story carefully this is the nation of israel standing before the red sea watch what prophet moses was doing as a leader and a prophet moses said unto the people fear not stand still and see the salvation of the lord which he will show to you today somebody say today i like it he didn't say which he will show to you any day today for the Egyptians whom ye have seen today is shall see them again no more forever. The next verse, God will fight for you and ye shall hold your peace. Verse 15, Moses now comes and cries to the Lord and the Lord said, speak unto the children of Israel. What did he say to tell them? Speak. He didn't say push them. Speak. The, their motion, the ability to move that door called the Red Sea is hidden in your prophecy it is amazing that you can do many things with that same mouth you can lament or you can speak prophetically tell them that they go forward that means they will go the direction of your prophecy if you say stay there an influence will come from your word and keep them to remain there he said they are standing in front of the sea it is not the see that make them move forward. it is the power of the prophetic tell the people that in spite of that door that is closed they can still move forward verse 16 it says but lift up now thy rod and stretch out thy hand over the sea to divide it can you imagine you see, when god talks to men he doesn't talk to men like he's talking to men he talks to men like he's discussing with himself so you you need faith to walk with god because god will tell you a lot of things that will disturb you and he will act as if he's not aware that that statement is troubling you you can be discussing you can you can go to his presence with a backload of of debts a rent issue and god is already telling you you know there are 500 people whose school fees we need to pay and he will not even talk about the rent issue because it is his character to call the things that be not as though they were you must learn the economy of god when you approach his presence like they train you to get to the buckingham palace there are things that even if it were not natural with you you are forced to do it because of the atmosphere you have entered you must understand the protocol of the speakings of god he will not come and speak with you like he's speaking to a man because you were created in his image he will be agreeing with Satan if he spoke to you like a fallen man. So he speaks to you like he's speaking to himself. Even if you are Gideon, he will not call you the weak one. He will call you, oh thou mighty man of valor. Is someone learning? The prophetic is very powerful. We are products of prophecy. Now let's read on to 18 verse 17 now watch this and behold i will harden the hearts of the egyptians and they shall follow them and i will get me honor upon pharaoh and upon his host upon the chariots and upon the horsemen verse 18 it says and the egyptians shall know that i am the lord when i have gotten me honor upon pharaoh upon his chariots and upon his horsemen please jump to verse 26 same chapter for sake of time jump to 26 watch this and the lord said to moses you are a prophet over the people 
don't leave them in that calamity stretch out thy hand over the sea so that the waters now they had walked on dry ground are we together now and the egyptians were following them did you see that that sea was not just a sea it was a door because when it opened it was dry i told you doors can be circumstances doors can be human entities and doors can be spirits you will stand in front of a wall and be deceived thinking is a wall until you start prophesying you will see that wall break into two and open hither and tether and watch this the same technology that opens doors is the same technology that can close doors if that door remain open now you will learn that there are closed doors that god himself closes this door now had been opened the implication of that indefinite opening is that the egyptians were also coming when the nation of israel got to the other side the lord now is about to close that door watch this and the lord says to moses stretch forth your hand and he stretched forth his hand to the sea and the bible says the sea returned to its strength when the morning appeared and the egyptians fled against it and the lord overthrew the egyptians hallelujah in the midst of the sea 28 and the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the host of pharaoh that came into the sea after them and there remained not so much as one of them we're reading to the last verse it says but the children of israel walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea and the waters were a wall on them on their right side and on their left 30 thus the lord saved israel that day out of the hand of the egyptians and israel saw the egyptians dead upon the seashore the last verse and israel saw the great work which the lord did upon the egyptians the bible ends by saying here and the people feared the lord and believed the lord and also his servant moses listen every time i teach on the prophetic i'm very quick to observe sadly that because of the current context of the church and God is helping us there have been all kinds of abuses unfortunately and sadly around the prophetic because of the mismanagement of that office that gift and that ministry um, it has it has brought a lot of devaluation to the power the potential and the extent even the role that the prophetic has to play in the life of people make no mistakes about it ladies and gentlemen whilst on one hand we admit that there is a lot that needs to be corrected as far as the prophetic extending to the apostle is concerned but you will be making a big mistake to throw the baby and the bath water because destinies are made by prophecy listen carefully if jesus needed three prophets for his destiny to stabilize three three for redemption to happen simeon the prophet anna the prophetess john the baptist it took the ministry of three prophets to open up his heavens there are limitations that many people face in life watch this in ministry and in destiny there are certain doors that stand before you that you may not have the level of spiritual intelligence the level of prayer intelligence to be able to push those doors open that is the reason why god sends prophets watch this now he sends men and women that he has anointed by the election of grace alongside the sacrifice of alignment and he has put grace and power upon their lips they can speak to certain doors even ancient doors and tell them lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted ye ancient doors the king of glory wants to come in and he says those doors be open and the door said who is this king of glory and he says the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle your destiny can be stagnated indefinitely regardless your education regardless the people you know regardless the advantage that you have within a territory this is where the assignment of the prophetic comes the assignment of the prophetic is to bring restoration one time the sons of elijah 
they were undergoing mentorship and then they needed to go to the other side they said where we meet with you is too straight and while they were cutting the wood the bible says one of them who borrowed an axe the head fell in the sea and he shouted and he said alas master for it was borrowed if that guy tried to get into that water he would have drowned and died for nothing the place is why i'm here where fell it let me know where it and the Bible says, when he threw a stick there, the axe head began to float. Is that in your Bible? When there was an economic situation of national magnitude, it took more than economists to come and solve the problem in a land called Samaria. Exempted from it, the king and the prophet. prophet comes to samaria and sees that women the king watch what was happening that women were boiling their children and eating you can imagine that level of hardship at least abraham wanted to kill isaac he didn't kill him but this one the women did not even tell the children they would die they just boiled them and ate them are we together yes and at that time the prophet came by the spirit he did not speak over a person he did not speak over a church he spoke over nations there are there are cadres in the prophetic there are graces that are only allotted to speak to individuals there are graces that are allotted to speak to predefined territories but like jeremiah there are graces that grants you authority over nations to root out to pull down to build to plant hallelujah and he spoke over samaria and said by this time tomorrow now i don't know whether the prophet believed his statement himself that was a very serious risk and when he made that statement one of the advisors and the aides of the king said you are a foolish man even if god will open the windows of heaven would this happen and he said you see you are you are about to taste will see but you will not partake of it watch what began to happen the bible says there were four lepers oh i like this four lepers they were totally incapacitated but the spirit of prophecy started moving around to find actors when god speaks don't there are too many men on earth everybody will not tell god no if your uncle was to be used and he says no the spirit of prophecy is intelligent enough to go even to america and raise a help and bring for you listen listen we are not teaching on the prophetic now but you must understand the character of the prophetic when god speaks usually as far as the creative dimension of the prophetic is concerned no name is mentioned except in a few cases do you know why because god respects the will of men if i prophesy and i say this man on suit is going to help this man I have limited the operation of that prophecy but if i say in the name of jesus christ i make declarations that help comes to you from zion god can come to this man and he can say i'm not interested god will respect his will it the spirit of god is patient to vet the heart of everybody till he finds a willing heart the bible says how forcible are right words when the prophetic leaves is like an arrow i hope you know every word that comes from god moves like a messenger and it must return and tell him i finished what i've done that means if the word god said has not returned it means he's still working there is still moving around maybe he tried abuja and it did not work by now it's gotten to portacot or to to kano it does not matter where to fish help from four lepers because the prophet of god spoke hold on did you know that the guys who gave up their food always had it did you know that the lepers were always there what then was the difference the activator of that possibility was a prophetic four lepers sat down and they did not even know what started moving them they said why sit we here till we die why didn't they think about it two weeks before no the same way the helper of your destiny now says is a long time i called this man no he did not just think i'm telling you 
there is a spirit that moves upon men and begins to compel them Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne, we hail you, Most High. You're the Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne, we hail you, Most High. Ladies and gentlemen, hear me when god wants to show a man mercy these are the forces that god releases to your direction when god looks at your life and finds you lamenting and crying and say lord when will this door open get ready the force of light comes and i will give you pastors according to my heart jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 15 the assignment of the pastoral ministry is to expose you to light that means if you don't come to church you are participating with your woe and your tragedy he said when i came into the house of the lord then understood i there is a realm of understanding that resides within the corporate gathering of the saints they shall feed you with knowledge and understanding acts chapter 20 and verse 20 please give it to us what's the assignment of a good shepherd and how that i kept back nothing that was profitable unto you i showed you all things and i've taught you publicly that is the assignment listen pastors are light bearers they communicate light dimension after dimension, line upon line precept upon precept then the force of prayer energized by the power of light you stretch in the spirit i was very humbled last year that this church went through for almost half that year i mean you can imagine the kind of stamina it would have taken even if you are playing not for six months something has to land upon you the spirit of prayer and supplication transferable yes sir one of the ways that you receive is to be in company of them that have it are we together now yes the force of prayer and then the force of favor ah this one when it lands on your life it speaks immediately 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 i don't know who i'm speaking to immediately that the force of faith is able to come upon him and rewrite a new narrative over your life after circles of tragedy tragedy apostle i've been in abuja for many years i love the lord sincerely but this door has refused to open you need the force of favor in luke chapter 2 1 verse 52 the bible speaking about jesus your jesus luke 2 52 and jesus increased in wisdom is that in your bible in stature and even jesus himself needed to increase in favor with god and with men if jesus did not have favor and he sent someone to go to a place where the street divide and use a donkey you don't take that kind of his to ascertain that that grace is upon your life there are parts you do not dare if you are not sure of the manifestation of favor and then the force of the prophetic ladies and gentlemen we are products of the prophetic god has helped us to know him and to love him but i can tell you who told you prophecies are just mere words who told you there is no throne that backs the speakings of god's people just because there are jokers do not mix everybody and no there are men who have a covenant with god little children have you any catch john 21 he said none he said cast your net to the right side